Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to show you um, a cool tweak that I uh, found. It's called Fake Clock Up. Basically, it makes it seem like you clock up your processor in your iPhone 4, any device, um, any firmware. I'll show you it also on the iPhone 2G, as well as the iPhone 4. So while my iPhone 2G is loading Cydia to show you where to get it, I'll actually show you these settings. But it does um, make the transitions of things much faster. So let me just load up settings. But um, as you watch, the um, transitions seem to go much, much faster. So watch as I open that. It goes much faster. So here's the settings right here. We have written by Novi. Um, I really don't know who, um, where this is like exactly from, because I just got a download link from a uh, Gumball Tech's video. So I just put this up on my repository, and I'll have the repository info in the description as well. I'll I'll show you how to add the source. All right, so I'm going to show you. I have it currently set to 2.0. I set it to 10, and I'm going to respring. So here we have the iPhone 2G. The iPhone 2G is running it as well. So I'm loading up a uh, city on this. So we're going to let that do it. The iPhone 2G is much slower, obviously, because it's running in the older city. So we're just going to wait for this to respring. And here we go. So slide to unlock. Your transition is practically instantly. So here we have your transitions. Everything seems to be going really, really fast as you can see right there and let's just open up Safari and if we hit the home button it'll go right to the home button so also in settings just go to settings as well as the multitasking is much faster if we go to fake clock up you can see that the transition in the table view for the um, settings is practically instant so it makes it seem like you have a much faster processor. I usually have it set at 2.0 because that seems uh, the best. Now you can also make your transitions slower, so I'll show you that as well. Let's just respring that. And here we have the iPhone 2G finishing up loading data. And you're going to want to add a source for um, this package. So you're going to want to browse over to Manage then sources, edit, add, and you're going to want to add repo.ios for life.com. So this will be in the description as well as right here on the screen. So you're going to want to add that once you've done that. You can see that fake clock up is right there. All you're going to want to do, install, confirm, and then respring. So here we have it over here. And our transitions are going to be extremely slow. As you can see right there, it's not that nice, but I, I mean, I guess if you really want it. Um, so let's just go into the multitasking as well. Open up settings. You can see that it actually comes out. And we're going to these settings over here again you can see that it's going very very slow and also if we multitask over to like safari or something you can see it slowly um, or at least attempting to slowly transition over there so if we hit settings again it attempts to go over it still has a few bugs but it's definitely really nice so let's set it back over to 2.0 which I think is the best one to be set at. It makes the phone a tiny bit faster in the transitions. It makes it seem faster. And it um, really allows for a good, fast phone, at least from what it seems. So I'm going to show you this also on the iPhone 2G. That means it runs on 3.0 firmware. So we can see that. I'm going to open up settings. You can see that the iPhone 2G runs pretty good. So we are running it at 10.0, and if we hit the home button, you can see it's much faster. Settings, Cydia. 
You can see that all the transitions are very fast as well as when we hit the home button. We hit Safari. And yeah. So that's pretty much that. If anybody's wondering about the 4.0 build on um, the iPhone 2G, what we are currently running here, it's a project called 3.1.4. Um, there's more info about that in the description, so uh, go check that out um, if anyone was, was wondering. So that is Fake Clock Up. It runs on the iPhone 2G, the iPhone 4, and pretty much every other device we can show you on the iPod Touch first generation as well as the iPod Touch 2G, 3G, and the I all the iPhones. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, to subscribe. Add the repo. Also, browse around on the repo for the other packages. Um, oftentimes, there are betas on there, so um, install with uh, if you really know what it is. So, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. If you want to know anything else, leave a comment down below. Check out iOSforlife.com and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Mr. AJ's Tech. So, I guess I'll see you in the next video. See ya.